here we are in Singapore about to check out this temple where everyone was there taking their shoes off and we said listen we got to do the same thing let's check it out this temple is the oldest Hindu temple in Singapore and it's always good to experience new cultures and learn new things Then we decided to head to Marina Bay Sands, which is one of the destinations that we've been looking forward to since we landed in Singapore. All right, guys, so we made it to the famous Marina Bay Sands, and I wanted to see Merlion Park, and my phone died. All of our phones died, and the camera died. So we decided to make a quick pick stop to be able to charge our phones, but KK actually turned it into an afternoon tea party. Check her out. You are so be so jealous of my tea time. Not at all. Sophie is so jealous of my tea time. Sophie, tell them what you say. Sophie. So we come in here to charge phones. How we end up with all kind of tea and scones and wine and thing to charge a phone. So that is when you up on bricks. <laughs> Cheers to Singapore living, honey. Look at life is made for me. Crazy rich Asians. <laughs> And the budget. You can guess who's the bougie and guess who's the budget. I'm the budget. I'm, I, I, I'm not a, I'm not ashamed. She had me in the hawker center. I obliged her. Now she have to oblige me. She's having tea. And I am a red of sour. And look her enjoying the spoons. I had a choice. You would think she didn't even like her. But she's enjoying every drop of these spoons. And all the little cucumber sandwiches and the macaroons. She's bougie. She just don't want to pay for it. <laughs> She's bougie on a budget. I'm in front of all the satay shops.
Oh. I'm from this stall. Uh -huh. This is the menu. From here, and this is the other line, man, behind those gentlemen. Okay. And it's free sitting. Okay. Just join the queue. Okay, yeah, that's the best one. And then you sit down, and then there's Buzz Yo. So let's. Hey, last night when we were here, you, you, you let us jump the queue. We ordered a, ordered a, a, a meal for you straight away. Yeah. Waiting time is about 20 minutes minimum, yeah? Okay, thank you. It's a bear. I'm gonna see what seafood they have. Singaporean chili crab. So we just ordered our set. We got the one that has chicken, beef, and prawns. Okay? They can hear you. Yeah, they can hear us. The microphone's pretty good. And then we just got two bears. This one is called Tiger. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. <laughs> So we're gonna see what this food is with and they also have um, Singapore chili crab out there which is something we wanted to try but these skewers might be too much. I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. What do you think? We're coming back. Right. But another center might have a day. We can see. We can see how full we get. Singapore chili crab. We'll go look it up. But this place is called Satay Street. But the actual area is like La Po Lo Lopalat. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Lopalat. Okay. So when you come to Singapore, you must come check it out. You like? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It, isn't it like super surreal? Like to be like watch these on the and now to be actually here. I got the hawkers and. I've been looking at these satay places for forever. Now we're about to get it from number eight, will we? Yeah, it don't. It feels surreal, and I just can't describe the actual feeling of being here. You know what I mean? Like yeah, for months. Well, actually, for years we've been watching these vlogs, like these vloggers um, come to these places and just being here. It just feels so surreal. Like I don't know how to describe it, but. Yeah, I can't put it into words. Sorry, guys. And uh, what's really cool about it is how much YouTube helps to help you to explore places before you come in. Because yeah. the reason we know like what to eat, what to expect, what places we need to go is because of YouTube bloggers. So like we want to be able to do the same thing for people in our network and our community as we build it. Like let people be able to see what we do and come explore for yourself too. Definitely, because that's what I say. You know. Almost every place that I've traveled for the past, say, five, six years, it's basically been through YouTube. It's like me seeing other vloggers go and experience some place which I never, ever thought about going. And I see it and I'm like, oh my God, I want to go there too. And I want to do everything that they did. You know, so I feel like I want to do the same for other people. That's what really get me, um, get me so intrigued about being a YouTuber, quote unquote. But... I just, I don't know if it's about being a YouTuber, but I just want to be able to share the same information. But I'll do it from my IG, my WhatsApp. Y'all, I'll make sure the vlogs on YouTube too. Though. But no, for real. So I follow Stitch by KK on, on IG. IG. Follow your girl too. I am the lioness on IG. But y'all know what to do. Y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Let us know what you've seen in this vlog that piqued your interest the most. Like, what do you want to do? Um, and what did you, you know, what, what was on your bucket list? Because y'all, we got a lot of places coming up. And it, it don't just stop here. This is just the beginning. Let them know who's your favorite new YouTuber. Okay. Bougie or budget? 
bougie. Budget? Budget. Budget all day. <laughs> Bahamians travel for two. So Jess picked up the food. Can you move the stuff over for me? Right here, this costs about 28 Singapore dollars. It's a set A, the smallest one you can get. And then you have more and more and more and more. Look at KK's face. She's like, what are we getting ourselves into? I just need my air rallo. You just on. need air rallo. Give the air rallo plug. Air rallo. Hey, sponsor us, okay? First of all, Sophie just turn every Bohemian on. She don't just turn them on to Air Rallo. She just have to do all the technical <laughs> activation and customer support. In fact, Air Rallo, y'all should hire her remotely. Like, she can help you all a lot. Because this thing don't be easy when you're using it at first. But what is Air Rallo? Air Rallo is eSIMs that you get, like, for any country, wherever you go. You just, you don't have to change SIM cards anymore. Well, most people don't change SIM cards anymore, but it's just a good way for you to be able to connect with your family and friends through Air Rallo. Period, Pooh. Sponsor us. So let's see which one you're trying first. I don't even know what this is. By the Indian culture, <coughs> this would be yeah. exactly the description of how it tastes. But it's very tender <laughs> with Indian spices, basically. Okay. Yeah, just see the food. Look at how much you get. It's like ten chicken, ten beef, and six prawns. <laughs> and that's the smallest amount you can get from this particular place. You can't get one or two. You gotta get the whole set. So perfect for sharing. This is the beef and this is the chicken. We need a drawer. <gasps> the aftermath guys, the aftermath. Yeah, you feel like you're full of me? Full? And she on the phone, y'all. She can't hear. Yes. <laughs> like I've been full. She make me eat this stuff, y'all. I didn't want to do it. But we did it. I fly 22 hours. I come to eat, but I come for a buddy. I don't know what it is, but I always want to see what these 7-Elevens hitting for. Because they just seem like they're much better than the ones in the States.
All the different noodles. Ramen. Sandwich? Yeah, like that's crazy. <laughs> Cream cheese. Whole meal bun. Chicken curry ramen. Strawberry. Wow, okay, this is interesting. A strawberry whole meal bun. Interesting. Butter and sugar. But here's what I can tell you is alcohol is very expensive. Look how much for this little bottle of Smirnoff. $33 and that's about $28 in, U in US. For that small bottle of Smirnoff. Wow. Absolute $50. But this, little, but this is a pint. A little bigger than a pint. The reason is it's a, it's a Muslim country so alcohol is it's legal but it's very expensive so that's how they prevent people from drinking sorry you know moving slow slow now full I'm gonna get a watermelon juice. Y'all, look how much watermelon juice here. $2.80. So that's about $1.75 in US. And I'm in America, watermelon juice for $12. Watermelon juice, guys. So let's try it. And that's the thing about it, y'all. All watermelons over here are seeded. There is no seedless watermelon. Everything's organic. Two dollars. Right here is the Apple Store. That little pod right there, that's that whole that whole thing is the Apple Store. Pretty cool. And this right here, that's the Louis Vuitton store. Louis? Next level. So that's the Louis store. And that's the Apple store. And this is Singapore. It's so, okay, yeah, Kate. What's your thoughts about all the Apple? Like God, it's just amazing. 
greatest like life. he's just so amazing like the wisdom that he gave man because wisdom is the ability to apply knowledge right yep so the wisdom that he gave man like it's far beyond and this is the evidence of it like that's all I can say I have to be profound in this moment because wow this is wow I thought Dubai you know we like we should have been vlogging when we went to Dubai because Dubai had similar stuff like when we went to the Burj Khalifa which is the highest building in the world currently but wow I don't know this is giving the Burj Khalifa a run for its money like I, I, I film in this for y'all so we can exp we can share this experience with you guys but in a second I'm about to put the camera down because I just gotta take it in and give God thanks man like you don't even understand like coming from where we come a small island that seems like we ain't growing to the next next level and to come here and see the next level it's like anything's possible and when you think about it 50 60 years ago maybe not Singapore but think about Dubai in particular those countries with nothing and they develop through vision and innovation and it show like it can happen for us too so you know so we, we share in this moment with you guys you already know like comment subscribe to the channel but right now I gotta put the phone away and I gotta make sure that I take this moment in because I spent plenty of money to come out so I gotta come I got I gotta get it So we're here, we just got here by Gardens by the Bay in Singapore. Shout out to Vic from Brooklyn, aka hey. Puerto Rico. How you doing over here? Forget about mucho gusto from gente all here, Francis. Right. Hey. KK, how you feeling? Loving the vibes. Like, oh my gosh, it is breathtaking. It's everything that I imagined and more. So y'all, I want to show you all what I see, but I got to take it in for myself. So I'm going to try to get some footage, but I got to take it in for me. Once in a lifetime, all right? Listen, when I tell you this is beautiful, this is so amazing. And uh, we just talked to someone in the elevator coming here and he was like, this whole city was built in 50 years. And um, what that does for me is that shows me how much things are possible in 50 years. We overestimate we could do in one year, but we underestimate we could do in 50. To see this place go from a fishing village to what it is now, is nothing short of amazing. But guys, bad news. I lost the video footage for my favorite part of the night, which was the Gardens by the Bay light show. We made it a point to make sure that we went at nighttime so we could see this light show that was a 10 out of 10. I mean, it was so incredible to see all of these trees lit up and they were playing like Disney music. Um, and there were like thousands of people all around this park laying flat on the ground, just taking in the sights. And I mean, these pictures, the little clips that I got from KK's phone, it really does it no justice. But if you're ever in Singapore, make sure you visit Marina Bay Sands and check out the Gardens by the Bay light show. It's something that you must do. So as soon as the light show was done, we worked up an appetite and we decided to head back over to the Hawker Center to try the Singapore chili crab. This is black pepper crab. 
and that's the chili one. And this is the signature si uh, Singapore chili crab. And what's this? Uh, salt and pepper uh, squid. Salt and pepper squid. We got some fried rice coming mm -hmm. and some type of prawn. Mm -hmm. And we got some beer. It's a night market, baby. Yes, yes. I can't wait for you to taste the chili crab that you've been waiting for. I ain't taking samples right there. I just cannot wait. I just want to see what you have to say. All right, guys, you're doing Singapore chili crab, baby. Let's see what it hits for. I don't know what I'm going to do with this spoon, but maybe this get spoon. some rice or something. Tell me how the rice tastes. KK is the rice connoisseur. Y'all come to Asia, you conform to Asian culture. We share. If a reason America and we saw this guy, we would never share with him in the food court. <laughs> Make sure y'all follow Vic on Instagram. Yes. You are evicted. Yes, yes. I Literally, that's his Instagram name. Oh, wait, just get close. Get the chili sauce and put it in the rice. That's not bad. No. That's not bad at all. I got a fried chicken base. That's the bread. Not bad at all. The sauce tastes good. It's good. Mm, yeah. You start, let me see, go for it. Alright, you go on which one going which one baby? Which one? Which I'm one? Go this one first. Alright, go, go that one first. All right. Tell me out there. Okay. okay. You got to You got to do it. You got to try it. You got Certain flavors you can't mix, I mean, I mean not mix, um, create unless you're from the culture. It's like you only eat. I, I, I don't know. That's so good. I don't mess with that. I just sold it. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's me, KK. So I know you guys see me in the whole video. I'm on my phone, on my phone. But what Sophie forget to tell you is that she's the YouTuber and currently I'm the WhatsApp and IG hype person. So I be getting footage for IG and WhatsApp and commenting in real time. But yes, I'm going to get better and I'm going to be that perfect YouTuber. So stay tuned for the rest of the vlog of our wild night in Singapore. So over there, y'all, that's Sate Street. That is the Hawker Center Night Market. 
Great food, man. Great food. Really good. Now we're just going to get one more drink before we turn it in with our friend Vic from New York. You gotta meet people on your travels. As you can see, we met even more friends on this crazy Singapore night. But y'all, stay tuned. It's going to get even wilder. We find all kind of friends. Now we walk into another bar on the Singapore streets. So lit, y'all. You know, can't live. That's how they are. No, of course. That's a good point. That's a good point of view. It's so cool. Yeah, it feels so good. Oh, my God. This is the newlyweds. Newlyweds from Jersey. Absolutely. Koisi Punch and Mona. <laughs> period. Hey, period. What's up, love? Hey. <laughs> Follow and comment down below. Y'all already yes. know about it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we made it to this club. It's an after hours spot called I Panama. It was such a vibe, but they were playing like old American classics. But y'all, after the liquor kicks in, you can see how we started the night sophisticated and now it's going all downhill. Liquor needs to be illegal. Fine. 